Well, our Fox 5 I team is always looking into how your tax dollars are spent. And recently, they got a tip about a potentially expensive international trip. It was taken by Mayor Kasim Reed and several members of his staff. Yeah, so they checked it out. And what started as a simple question about who went and how much it cost turned into a two-month wait. Our I team even had to ask help from the Attorney General's office to get the information for you. Well, senior I team reporter Dell Russell says he finally got the records very late on Friday night. Late on Friday night, Russ, we asked for them back on May 9th and got them right before midnight on Friday. And for the first time, we saw the city spent nearly $90,000 for the trip, much of it on expensive business class tickets. Tickets the city tells me some unnamed organization has promised to help pay for. Sunday, April 30th, Delta Flight 72 is boarding, bound for Amsterdam, ultimately Cape Town, South Africa. Eight City of Atlanta employees are on board. Another employee left a day earlier. As boarding continues, Mayor Kasim Reed arrives on the tarmac with his security team, preparing to board the Delta Airbus jet for the grueling 20-hour flight. Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille, who later would post pictures with Mayor Reed on her Twitter account, invited the Atlanta mayor and a delegation to visit her. She had visited Mayor Reed here in Atlanta a year ago. A city press release said the trip was set on boosting entrepreneurship, resiliency in the arts and entertainment industries. And the mayor clearly had a busy schedule. A city spokeswoman wrote me to say the invitation was meaningful to Mayor Reed because the city shares a deep and unique bond with the nation of South Africa through the shared struggle for civil rights. We had gotten a tip that that trip was going to be really expensive. So later we filed an open records request with the city asking who went and how much did it cost. That was in May. The city gave us the answer to who went but not the costs. And the Georgia Open Records Act, which allows any citizen to examine city documents, expects an answer generally within three days. Because the city wouldn't respond to our request with the records, we had to ask the state attorney general to help us. His office wrote Atlanta City Attorney Jeremy Berry to tell him the attorney general's office found the city failed to comply with either the spirit or letter of the Open Records Act for our request for travel records and other requests. It's absolutely not appropriate at all. Sarah Henderson, executive director of Good Government Group Common Cause, says it's disturbing that the city didn't turn over the travel costs in a timely fashion. You're really sort of hampering the whole idea of the law by not allowing people to have access within a reasonable amount of time. It sort of takes away from the idea of transparency. I mean, it definitely looks like something is being covered up. It's 1.5 million of them. City Attorney Jeremy Berry's excuse for the delay was the city was swamped with open records requests, due in part to providing all these documents for the ongoing City Hall bribery investigation to the U.S. Attorney and later reporters. He promised the records more than two months after we asked for them. This is the promotional video of the luxury riverfront hotel where everyone stayed for four days, Cape Grace. Some of the bills seemed incomplete and exchange rates vary, but hotel costs due to a good exchange rate were around $7,700. There was also a luxury seven passenger van rented for the trip, another $1,300. The real cost of the trip was in the flights. Six of the ten people flew on the most expensive ticket possible, Delta's business class. Chris Hicks, head of the city's film and entertainment department, posted pictures of the trip on his Instagram account. The mayor, Chris Hicks, city attorney Kathy Hampton, who would soon after the trip leave city government, and chief of staff Candace Bird all flew business class, as did Claire Angel, director of international affairs, seen in this South African business Facebook post, along with chief resilience officer Stephanie Stuckey. That's not a wise way to spend taxpayer dollars at all. Those people should sit in and coach just like any other taxpayer would flying any other place in the world. Thea Washington Smith, head of Atlanta's Women's Entrepreneurship Initiative, flew over on coach, then paid an extra $4,200 to upgrade to business class on the way back. By comparison, Human Resources Commissioner Yvonne Yancey flew coach. Her ticket cost $2,500. The mayor's two-man security team also flew coach. Total cost of all flights, nearly $81,000. That's just uh, absurd. 
you also should should have the the common sense and the conscience to know that you're this is taxpayer funded trip I'm going to to have the appearance at least of spending the money wisely now the Atlanta City Code says only the mayor can fly business class, but the mayor's spokesperson Jenna Garland gave me this policy that says employees can fly business class if they get approval from their department heads. And Jenna Garland also told me an outside non-governmental organization is helping to pay for the difference between the coach and business class tickets. She won't tell us who or what they have promised to pay. She did say philanthropic gifts have to go through the legislative process, and we and the taxpayers will find out whenever that starts. Russ and Amy. We know you'll be watching. Dell, thanks.